Hello, I'm Carter Jones, and I'm the Special Projects Coordinator, and I guess the unofficial historian for the South Carolina State Firefighters Association. We're here today in what is the very beginning stages of our South Carolina Fire Heritage Center and Museum. Uh, I was hired about seven years ago to help departments gather their history and put it to pen in order to preserve their history. And uh, over the years, we have been able to uh, acquire some artifacts from the fire service in years past, and we wanted to uh, be able to display those items to preserve them for those who come behind us and for those today to learn from the past. So the executive committee has uh, allowed us to take a portion of the lobby and to make it into this heritage center and museum. We have some fabulous displays of artifacts, and we would encourage you as you come through Columbia to stop by and take a look. We have some very valuable pieces of uh, firefighting history here. We have a wooden water main, a portion of a wooden water main from Augusta, but it demonstrates how municipalities and smaller communities and even cities transported water for, uh, through wooden uh, carved out logs. We have a display from uh, the uh, history of uh, alarm systems. We found out that John Nelson Gamewell, who patented, purchased the patents and perfected the Gamewell fire alarm system, was from Camden. He was also a firefighter. And we uh, have on display a pedestal and alarm system from the city of Greenville. We have a tap -a bell in the cabinet behind me that uh, was in some of the firemen's homes or the chief's office. And when there was an alarm pulled, it would also signal in the chief's home or office that uh, the location of the fire. We have a portion of a uh, leather fire hose that's riveted from the very early 1800s and possibly even the late 1700s. We have an assortment of uh, speaking trumpets, uh, leather helmets, but it gives uh, one who wants to know where we've come from uh, a hint of the history in the years past. And I'm excited the executive committee is uh, giving us permission to pursue this. Very recently, we acquired a 1947 Mack open cab fire truck, vintage truck, to put on display in the Denny Auditorium at the Fire Academy. But people want to see these items. People who own these uh, artifacts and fire trucks want us to see them and show them off. So it's catching on. We're very excited about being able to expand the museum and the heritage center. There are two components. There's a museum and there's heritage center. We want to be able to capture the, the written documents, some of the oral videos that we are doing. Uh, if we don't protect it, preserve it, and show it, catalog it, it's going to be lost forever. And South Carolina has such a rich history in our fire service, and we want to offer that to you. And as the next few weeks uh, go by, you'll see even more in here. We're also assisting many fire departments in gathering their history and putting it to pen. We're finding out so much uh, about departments that were unknown. Uh, for example, we came across a line of duty death many years ago that uh, no one knew about. And uh, we just encourage people to do research on your department to gather newspaper articles from those boxes that are stored in closets and 
Call us to help you put to pen the history of your department. So again, this is your association. We encourage you to come by and see what the staff and executive committee are doing. And we're very proud of the South Carolina Fire Heritage Center and its museum. So thank you.